In this video, we will talk about anticoagulants. So, what are anticoagulants? Anticoagulants are chemical substance which pre prevents the clotting of blood when added in appropriate proportion. So, the anticoagulants that we use in hematology are ethylene diamine dicloacetic acid or EDDA heparin, double oxalate, trisodium citrate, and sodium chloride. Let's go to this. Uh, let's go in detail with one by one. So these are the uh, tubes that contains EDTA. So in while collecting blood, you, sh you should keep in mind the different types of tubes that you are using while collecting blood. So these are tubes or vials that we use for blood culture secondly we have the citrate tube that is blue in color and for serum tubes with or without clot activator with or without gel separator we have these tubes we have heparin tube we have EDDA tube here and then we have glycolytic inhibitor tube so let's discuss about ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid this is also called as sequestrin or versin versin and this is a recommended anticoagulant for routine hematological investigations however it cannot be used for coagulation studies disodium or dipotassium salts of EDDA are in common use and the international committee for standardization in hematology re recommends dipotassium EDDA since it is more soluble and it is used in the concentration of 1.5 mg per ml or uh, mg per ml of blood. Dried form of anticoagulant is also used as it avoids the dilution of the sample. And its mechanism of action is chelation of calcium. And the proportion of anticoagulant to blood should be maintained. And if it is excess of 2 mg per ml, it causes shrink shrinkage of shrinkage and degenerative uh, changes in the red cells and white cells that results in decrease in hematocrit and increase in the uh, main corpuscular hemoglobin concentration and then excess also causes swelling and fragmentation of platelets which leads uh, to high which leads to a very high platelet count And then the prolonged storage of blood in um, EDTA, uh, blood in EDTA anticoagulants lead to alteration that is used for estimation of hemoglobin, hematocrit, cell counts, and making blood films, sickling test, reticulocyte count, and hemoglobin electrophoresis. Now let's talk about heparin. So heparin prevents blood uh, blood co coagulation by enhancing the activity of antithrombin 3. Ad, uh, antithrombin 3 inhibits the thrombin and some other co coagulation factors. It is used in the proportion of 15 to 20 international units per ml of blood sodium, lithium, and then uh, ammonium salts of heparin is used. And heparin should not be used for total leukocyte count since it makes leukocyte clumping. And for making of blood films since it imparts a blue background. And it is, all, it is used for osmotic fragility test since it does not um, alter the size of the cells and for immunophenotyping. Coming to topol, double oxalate wind drop mixture, this consists of ammonium oxalate and potassium oxalate in 3 to 2 proportion. And this combination is used to balance the swelling of red cells caused by ammonium oxalate and shrinkage caused by potassium oxalate. And the mechanism of uh, Anticoagulant action is removal of calcium. 
and it is used for routine hematological tests and for estimation of erythrocyte sedimentation rate, that is ESR, by wind drop method. And it causes cremation of blood cells and morphological alteration of WBCs. And it cannot be used for making blood cells. Now coming to sodium citrate. This is the anticoagulation of choice for coagulation studies. And it is um, and for estimation of erythrocytes sedimentation rate by Buster Green method. And the mode of action is situation of calcium. Now coming to sodium fluoride. This is a weak anticoagulant but used for glycolytic uh, agent to preserve the glucose. And this inhibits the system involved in glycolysis and preserves, preserves the glucose. This is effective at a concentration of 2 mg per ml of blood along with another anticoagulant like uh, potassium oxalate. Uh, when used alone, when uh, this, use, this is used alone, then more concentration of 2 mg per ml is needed. So more, most specimens are preser preserved at 25 degrees Celsius for 24 hours and at 4 degrees Celsius for 48 hours. Sodium fluoride is not freely soluble in blood, so it is important to mix the blood thoroughly before uh, effective anticoagulysis occurs, and this is the most widely used for glucose estimation. So that is all about anticoagulant that we use in hematological lab. Thank you.